Earlier this year I reviewed Valhalla, a visual novel where you play as a bartender in a cyberpunk setting, talking to customers and making sure you hit your money quota at the end of the day so you could keep the lights on. And now I'm at it again with Neocab, a visual novel where you play as a cab driver in a cyberpunk setting, talking to customers and making sure you hit your money quota at the end of the day so you can keep the car lights on. You could say that they're a little similar. But in all seriousness, I think a better way to describe Neocab would be as a detective game, because unlike Valhalla where Jill takes a backseat to the actual story and is simply commentating on the stories that she hears, Lena is an active participant in the game's narrative. She moved away from the small town of Cactus Falls to live with her best friend Savvy in the big city of Los Ojos. This neon-covered cityscape thrives off of automation and electricity as big business Capra runs everything, from the electrical fuel stations to hotels to a rival taxi service. In fact, Neocab is the only cab service that still employs actual drivers, as Capras are all AI driven. Whether that is a good thing or not really depends on who you talk to. Lena is understandably not a big fan of big business Capra, and neither is her friend Savvy. But before the two manage to catch up, Savvy vanishes, leaving only a distress call and a broken phone. Could Capra be behind this, or does it have something to do with the Radix gang, a group of street thugs who hate cars in general, self-driving or otherwise? So it's up to Lena to simultaneously work her taxi job to earn money for fuel and to pay for a bed at night, while picking up passengers, learning about the inner world of Los Ojos, and hopefully finding clues to her friend's disappearance. It's an interesting story that gives off a different feel from Valhalla, as Lena is driving her way to the story's centre, which makes the stakes feel much higher as she potentially attracts the ire of dangerous individuals. The story is already more involved, with branching options that can affect both the story and Lena's rating. Lena's rating is similar to a health meter in that it needs to stay at 4 stars or more, otherwise Lena runs the risk of being fired in a game over. So if it drops because of one bad car journey, then you need to make sure you butter up the next person by figuring out their personality and basically agreeing to everything they say. And you get some quirky characters in this cab, from a one-armed street punk who may be in over her head, an ex-convict who just wants to open a bakery, an old lady who lives for a chance and believes that the timelines are intertwined, and a crazy man who believes in the pain worm. Yes, the pain worm. The cast is varied, with some that players will enjoy talking to and others that they won't, like you Klaus, rude pause. And thankfully, as the master of your own wheel, you can decide who to pick and who is left on the sidewalk, with multiple options every night. Some of them will be new characters with their own stories and heartache to share, while others will be previous passengers hoping to catch up with Lena and update her on how their date went or what cosmic event will be happening next. It allows the player to decide their own route through the story, with multiple options incentivizing multiple playthroughs. Do you park in the Capra Bay and risk a fine? Do you bribe the police officer and ultimately save some money, but have a big sticker on your car notifying punks about your relationship with the police? It's choices like this that have both big and small consequences on the story. But there is more to it than simply selecting an option. Money plays a key role, as being a good Samaritan and helping a passenger in need, usually always financially, can ensure a good score. Likewise, making sure Lena's passengers are not uncomfortable by keeping your mood in check is a big factor. Lena has a bracelet that is effectively a mood ring, which informs the players and passengers whether Lena is cross, happy, upset or calm, and how intense those emotions are. Certain emotions, usually the angry and sad ones, can make a passenger too afraid to chat and share their information. In addition, Lena's emotions can affect her willingness to ask certain dialogue choices. If she's too happy, she may avoid uncomfortable topics that will bring down the mood. So managing her emotions is another part of the player's role, which I think is a good mechanic as it adds another depth to the dialogue options players will make. And depth is a big part of the appeal of this game. Many detective games simply default to clicking on every option until you find a clue, and while some will have dialogue options that affect the way NPCs treat you, LA Noir being a good example, they will often always push the player towards the designated goal. Neocab isn't immune to the latter point, but its many mechanics in the dialogue sections mean that players are often stuck with the outcome of their decision. 
It's not so easy to save scum and pick a different option while hoping for a better outcome, unless you're willing to go really far back in your saves. As emotions will rarely change in an instance and are often built up after multiple choices and encounters, and you're never sure which one was the correct one until your journey is done and your rating is in. I've talked a lot about story and gameplay, so how about the presentation? Well music wise there is a lot of ambience and it fits the neo cyberpunk aesthetic, but I wouldn't say any particular song stood out as spectacular. They fit the situations well and are not bad to listen to, but not the kind of music I would then go listen to while driving myself. For me, the presentation, particularly of the characters, is a big factor for this game as they will always be the main focus, and I have two minds about this. In terms of character design, it is excellent. Each of these unique personalities shines through their appearance and gives off a strong first impression. In a game about appealing to your customers and befriending them for information, great character design is vital to help players understand their next course of action, and here Neocab excels. Facial animations and light cues from certain accessories on the passenger's clothes help to relay the mood of the client, which is a massive benefit for helping players ensure they are on the right track for a 5 star rating. However, the visual style of the characters themselves wasn't as instantly appealing to me as some other games in the genre. It had an almost uncanny valley feel to it, as eyes, noses and mouths feel exaggerated to help the player understand the emotion, but the overall style seems to be leaning towards realism, and it just didn't do it for me. This is entirely subjective of course, and I understand why these choices were made, but it took a while for me to adjust to it. Ultimately, Neocab is another unique take on the detective visual novel game. While I wasn't as engaged as I have been with previous members of its genre, that was largely in part to the presentation, as I played more I began to get more impressed with the game's mechanics and became more interested in its story. A detective game should give all the pieces to the player but not make the outcome obvious, offering multiple possibilities that could all make sense until the definitive piece of evidence arrives, and I think Neocab's story does this well, and does this in a pretty unique way from the perspective of a taxi driver just trying to make a living in the big city. Just a driver trying to remain human in a city run by automation. If you liked this review and are interested in the game then let me know in the comments below. I would recommend it if you're a fan of the genre, and if you want to support us then consider donating to our patron like all the fine people on screen. Every little helps to keep us going and keeps the website up and running. If you don't have the money then there are other ways you can help such as sharing this video with your friends and always remembering to return to the source.